Alright, so I'm guessing you have a couple of LUTs and you want to start using them in DaVinci Resolve on your projects, but you don't know how to get them into DaVinci Resolve, and I'll show you here. It's not that difficult. There are two different ways that we can do this. Uh, if we come up to LUTs, if you don't know what that is, we're on the color page currently. It's right up here at the top. And we have a couple of LUTs that are currently uh, already in DaVinci Resolve. And if we come into here, we can see that they are broken up into different folders. And if we click on here, you might have some here. I don't know for sure. I've uh, moved my LUT folders around quite a bit. So if we go into any of these and we just right click on here, we can go open file location and we do that, it'll show us where they currently are installed. And we can see up here the path in which they're currently located. Now, personally, I wouldn't recommend putting them there, but that's where you can put them, right? So if we go back a folder, we can see all of the other folders with all of the LUTs that are there. So this is a place, but I wanna show you a different way of actually installing LUTs. So let's close this quick. And let's go up to DaVinci Resolve in the top corner up here, and we go down to Preferences. From here, we can go into General, and in General, we have this LUTs location. This allows us to point multiple different folders for LUTs. Typically, I would say if you have a library of LUTs to put them all in one folder, and then to point this LUT location to that one folder, it just makes things a bit easier. So we'll go click on Add, and I will navigate to where mine are. And down here we have my LUTs. So I'll just double click on this. And in here we can see that we have the folder. And if I click on that, the LUTs are in here. Currently this is in select folder, so we will only see folders. So what I would recommend doing is pointing to the folder and not all of the other folders that are in here. So if you have them broken up into different categories, I would just have like a main folder because if we have a main folder and then a bunch of folders inside, these folders here will show up in the UI. So I'm gonna just use this main folder as the destination. So my LUTs and then click select folder. Now it's in here and I'll hit save. Once we do that, we can come over into this window, right click here and click on refresh. Doing that, now I have those JR Brisk and I have all of the LUTs that were in that folder. If you want these, they're on the website. You can take a look at that. Uh, there's a link in the description directly to them. I'm guessing that you already have LUTs. So that's how we would have the LUTs installed. Now, I would recommend, like I was saying, to just have a main LUT. If we don't do it this way, let me quickly show you how this would be. If I click on this and remove and then add in that, uh, that specific folder instead of having like a bigger folder. And now I click this and now we have it going into that little folder. And I will come down here and click refresh again. Now we don't have that folder in this list anymore, but if I click on LUTs, they're now in here. See the JRTV, now they're in here. So it's up to you. I personally like having the it broken up into different uh, folders. I think that that makes things a bit easier to navigate through, but it's completely up to you. And as you can see with some of these that I've gotten over the years, you can actually have folders inside of folders. Um, and then that allows it to be broken up even more if that's something that you want. So that's how you install LUTs into DaVinci Resolve. If you want some free titles, I have some on my website. There's a link in the description directly to those titles. If you wanna learn more about DaVinci Resolve, I have a bunch of courses that are on my website, a little over 30 hours currently, and probably gonna be more in the up and coming months. Uh, if you want some transitions, titles, effects, that sort of thing for DaVinci Resolve, my website has a ton of that stuff. You can take a look there. But with that being said, I think that concludes everything for installing LUTs into DaVinci Resolve. I hope you enjoyed this, and until the next one, have a good one, guys.